This module that I ordered it from internet is very small, small size, but very useful. And what is it? It's a Type C PD Quick Charge Trigger from 5 to 20 volts dial code adjustment DC voltage power module dial adjustment voltage fast charging decoy decoy module. I ordered it and I got it. Here it is. So small. Take a look at this module. Beauty. What it says in description? It says the voltage can be adjusted through the dip switch and the maximum output voltage is 20 watts. Support fast charging protocols such PD 3.0, 2.0 and BC 1.2. Support USB type C. Okay. Supports input voltage from 4 to 24, 22 volts. Okay. Input voltage, output voltage is up to 20 volts. Interface type C. And here it is the thing that I'm looking. Power up to 100 watts. Product size 11 by 25.7 millimeters. All right, let's take a closer look. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Turn your electronics ideas into reality with JLC PCB, one of the world's most trusted PCB manufacturers. With over 20 years of experience, JLC PCB offer high quality PCBs starting at just $2 for 5 printed circle boards. Fast production and global shipping. Whether you are hobbyist, student or professional, JLC PCB makes your prototype easy, reliable and affordable. But that's not all. JLC PCB is also celebrating innovation through their open source engineer stories campaign. Share your project, inspire others and get future in global maker community. The best part? You could win over $400 coupon pack and chance to win cash prices up to $1000 just for telling your engineering story. Visit jlcpcb.com and share your open source journey, journey today. It's so tiny. As you can see, from this side we have Type-C port for powering the module, dip switch with three switches for selecting the output voltage, okay, and here we have output connector that directly can be connected a load, it says that can handle 100 watts and maximum 20 volts from behind can I see the chip? What is it? Okay. The brand here it is PD Sync. Ground positive. We have a couple of resistors and one LED for indicating that the module is working. I'm gonna zoom in with my smartphone so I, we can see the chip. And yes, it's a CH224K. All right, this is for those who want to check the integrated chip. And now it's time for testing. On the PD trigger module, I hook up my probes from my multimeter so I can monitor the voltage output of this trigger module. Powering. And take a look. I have readout of 12 volts output. Let's go like this. Nothing. Okay. This one go 9 volts. Right now we are at 9 volts. And 5 volts. My power adapter, my smart PD power adapter gives 12 volts maximum. But this module can handle maximum 20 volts and 100 watts. All right. Let's hook up a testing light bulb. These two are the car bulbs, 12 volts, and together we'll pull around 1.2 amperes. And let's find out. 
Yes, 1.3 amperes. The PD trigger module deliver 1.3 amperes. All right. Bad connection. Here I have a PC fan, 12 volt PC fan that I will run through the PD trigger module and I can choose 5, 9 and 12 by choosing which voltage output I can control the speed of the fan right now I think it's on and take a look how slow it's spinning this module is great for controlling the PC fan let me just to see the voltage through my multimeter yes we have 5 volts now I'm gonna go to 9 I think yes can you hear it it's much faster and let's go to 12 volts all right so I have 3 speed fan control using this PD trigger nice future 9 volts beautiful all right such a small device but useful for around one US dollar you can get this PD trigger which is awesome product input voltage from 4 to 20 volts output voltage from 5, 9, 12, 15, 20 whatever you want all right I hope you liked today video presentation please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya